now continuing with our hybrid animal. Um, okay, let's say if we had the dog, okay, one that started from the duck, but now I want to create a giraffe, okay? Now, this is a little bit different because I can't extrude a neck because I already have the head and the neck. So I just want to change kind of the positioning of it. So what I can do is I can right click and go to vertex and I can drag select over all of these vertices here that make up just the head. And now I can pull that up like this. <laughs> and now you can see that he's got a longer neck. Okay. Maybe I want to make the body longer so I could grab all of this and I can kind of pull that like this. And maybe I want to make the legs um, longer so I could grab maybe all of this stuff and pull that down like this. Okay. Now I could right click, go to object mode, pull this guy up onto the grid. And now if I need to, I could go into my insert edge loop and I could click and I could just scale from the center and I could kind of like help sculpt uh, these additional kind of areas here. And maybe I want this leg to be significantly skinnier. Okay. Well, that that's easy. I could just put an edge loop in and then scale that like this. And maybe put another edge loop in here. Scale that. Okay. And I, I think that hopefully you're starting to see the power of um, just these two tools with extrude and insert edge loop. I feel like with that, we should be able to almost create anything that we want. Um, and in the next lesson, I'll kind of show how to make something that looks a little bit better. I, I just like to do this as a starting point to get you familiar with um, how to navigate, um, you know, the insert um, edge loop and kind of to also kind of help you think that, hey, nothing is permanent, right? I feel like we started with one thing and then we just kind of altered it um, to something else. Maybe I want his belly to come down a little bit. I'll put an insert edge loop here. And now I can go from, from this edge maybe and pull that down. And maybe this vertex here, kind of pull that and it kind of is more rounded. Okay, great. And all of these um, animals that I'm working on, I could just press three and you can see that it smooths it out. And what that's doing is it's actually giving a preview of what it would look like if it were actually smoothed. And what does that mean? Well, if I go to mesh smooth, you can see that it's starting to look uh, kind of better, right? But I want to be careful that I don't do that too early because I feel like now I've got a lot more faces that I, I kind of have to keep track of and I have to make sure that it's okay. So, um, and now, now that I have this, maybe I, you know, maybe if it's a giraffe, um, I don't know, it's got something coming up here. I could do, you know, I could do whatever I want. I could keep kind of growing this and keep altering this. Um, let's say I brought that up. I could put in some edge loops here. Or I could grab this face at the top and even scale that. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so really not to, um, you know, to make something that necessarily we're gonna use, but this idea that we can, like I said before, we started with a cube and then we extruded and then we insert edge loops and then we altered that, uh, move some vertices around and we can really kind of um, alter this to make something cool. So. In the next lesson, I'll show how to make it uh, in a little bit more practical way.